Oil is the savior, or at least a lot of people think it will be. But finding oil anywhere in the world is very much a hit and miss business. It costs a lot of time and a lot of money. This is one of the more hopeful places for an oil strike. And this is 130 miles out in the Atlantic, off the west coast of Ireland, on oil rig Sedco 707. The actual work of drilling is tough and dangerous with a lot of equipment which has to be manhandled in position. Every hour or so, a new section has to be added to the drill by what must be the closest knit team in industry. Shell spends up to £40,000 a day on the whole operation, which of course may never find oil. For the Irishmen working under the romantic titles of roughnecks and roustabouts, and for their families, it's a changed life. Well, what do you do on the rig? Roughnecking, it's, uh, we do the actual drilling on the rig floor behind us there. To, in turn takes, you know, we've got to put on bits and run all the way into the hole and just keep drilling 12 hours a day. We've got 14 days on board. We've got four of us working together. We're all from Cork. And you were all around the world apparently at this job? Yeah, we were. We've worked with Global Marine for a number of years and um, we visited places like Turkey, Spain, Italy, France. We've drilled holes in all these countries. I felt it's like you were sort of a restless crowd. Well, we are, yeah. We like to see a bit of the world as well, you know. Well, I haven't it's, it's a rough way to see it sometimes. Well, it's not too bad, you know. We're still making money all the time. We get a chance to see the world as well. Tony, you know? do, you, do you feel the same way? Well, I don't know about that, but... Uh, we're not restless, you know, not essentially restless anyway, but we like the job, we like our time on. What do you think of the job? I mean, it's a very rough job and it's a dangerous job too, in many ways. Well, not dangerous, you know, it's not the work, it's the, it's the time that kills us, you know, and uh, anybody did a bit of holding or football that is good on his feet, well, he won't have much problem with dodging around the pipe above, you know. Eamon, I'm going to move over to you. You're a different, uh, you're on a different job. What do you do? Yeah, I'm around the boat. Um, like, you see, all, you see all the pipe here in the background? Well, mostly we supply the boys up there in the rig with the, the pipe, you know. What do you like about it? I like to see the adventure. It's good for a single man, I think, you know, but I don't know if I'd do it if I was married. The 50-man crew of oil rig Sedco 707 worked 12-hour shifts with a fortnight on and a fortnight off. As one of the few unionised rigs in Europe, they've hammered out good conditions, although the employers have found it difficult at times to accept the necessary bargaining. For the men, the on-off existence can either be a curse or a blessing. Basically, what you really do is just work 12 hours and when you finish, have a meal, have a wash, watch a film, go to bed and put your day down as fast as you can and look forward to coming home. So, in fact, you're, you're trying to forget about what you're doing out there in a way. Well, yeah, you are really. Well, when you're ashore, the time, is, the time goes an awful lot slower. Inside, you might get back out. That's it, basically. Like, you know. Tell me, is it worth the money? It is, yeah. It is, yeah. You do put in uh, 168 hours in two weeks. You don't actually four weeks at a 42 hour week. Of course, for two weeks' work, you're getting well paid for it. But listen now, you're out there for a fortnight. No drink or female company, <laughs> to right, coin right. a phrase. How about that? Well, you know, you can just. Female companionship, you can't get booze, so you just have to, just, just have to admit it. Bring plenty of lime juice. <laughs> That'll counteract the booze and the whatever it is. The quality of life on an oil rig is very important. Comfortable, bright living quarters with pin-ups from home and abroad. But first, there's the money. £600 a month. Then there's first-class food, steaks every day if you want, and all fresh and free. This is the sort of compensation that makes up for the disruption of family life. It's work, which there isn't there now. You know, the way they are, but still I'd rather have him at home because at least I'm used to him coming in at 10 and 1, 1 o'clock for his dinner. And then when he goes, you don't see him for 14 days, and 14 days can drag out. <laughs> well, at least happens. we know where, you, where they are. <laughs> 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 They're not having fun somewhere else. <laughs> They're all locked up in an oil rig. They're all locked up in an oil rig, but um, they have a good time out there in, the, in a sense, but they don't have a hell of a lot of pastime because they don't have television, they don't have radio, they're in the middle of nowhere. They can't pick up any stations. They have pre-recorded films, you know, they have the fun between themselves. Does the fact that you get money into the house regularly in lump sums, 
mean a certain amount to you about what you yes. do with it. It does. It means an awful lot. Because you know it's coming, you can work on it, you can plan on it, you can buy ahead because you know you can pay for it. Well, listen now, be honest. I mean, sometimes it must occur to you that, um, that maybe this is the safest way to live, that you're not getting in each other's way. Well, I'll say one thing for that. I never knew where I can put it. Um, it wasn't until he was gone that I realised what I was missing. <laughs> you know, that yeah, I, I mean, woke up to a lot of things after he'd gone out. Working on a 12-hour shift in such close proximity means there's no room for dossing. It requires a certain kind of temperament and special training when that's possible. Shell and Marine Drilling, the specialised company, share the supervision of the work. What do old-time oil men think of Irish men new to the job? Not particularly. We, we do this all over the world. We have drilling schools and what have you, everywhere we have time. But in this operation, we're not going to be here actually long enough during this year to actually have the schools here, but um, some of these boys are pretty good to start with and the others seem to be catching on pretty good and those that really didn't care about it to start with not here anymore. Than they Ireland hasn't yet struck oil, but if she does, this is one of the more likely places for it to happen. In the meantime, those who work on these oil rigs live a hard and dangerous life. And if they make good money in the process, good luck to them.